Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can submit your MS form response with historic data to Power BI. In our previous video, we have talked about that whenever you submit a new form, the response is goes to Power BI through Power BI stream. But the issue with that is that if we have some previous data and actually not capture that one. So in that case, what you have to do is you have to open that file into an Excel and save that file and upload that file either into your OneDrive or either into your document library. So in my case, I have submitted that uh, particular Excel file into my document library under this dev site. And this is how it's look like. As you can see in my forms, there are 16 responses I have. And uh, in the Excel data itself, we can see that all 16 responses here. So what happened next time is if someone submit a response now, the response will get submitted to my this Excel sheet and we'll connect this Excel sheet to our Power BI. And every time uh, a new response submitted, we can uh, apply a scheduled refresh for this particular uh, Excel sheet so that we get the latest data into our Power BI reports. All right, so let's just talk about how we can do that. To achieve this one, you have to go to your Power BI desktop. And in the get data option, what you have to do is we have to select the web. And there you can see a basic option. We have to provide the URL here. I'll go in my this Excel sheet info. There you can see a path option copy it you can test it here the path is okay for me and I'll paste my path here in this URL and I'll click on OK it is asking for the access what I have to do is I have to select the organizational account here and sign in through your account, provide a password. And now click on this, connect. And there you'll get a option in navigator. You have to select the table name. So as you can see, I'm having this table. I'll click on load and the right hand side section in the field you can see my table one has been loaded and now what I have to do is I have to create a report so I'll create a stack column chart here and uh, I'm gonna select the field is which training do you attended in the Access and date of attendance. Date of attendance as well in my legend as well. And now you can see that and this is what our reports look like. For every training, the date of uh, attendance is there. So let's suppose in Power Apps, at this date, the count of attendance is one. So as you can see, our report is ready here. Now I have to save my report. Select the name as forms to BI. Save my report and publish this online. I'm selecting my workspace. Now it is getting published. Now I can go in my workspace here. I can see that my forms to BI datasets and report both are available to me. I click on this one. This is how my reports look like. This is my Power BI web version. So the next challenge we have now is we get all the historic data into our Power BI. All right, in this format. But what if a new response is submitted by the user 
how that will be reflected into my Power BI. So now what I have to do is every time a new response submitted, I will submit that response to my Excel file using Power Automate. I have created video on that. If you can check that one, I'll provide link in description. You can check that as well. And after we have data into this particular Excel, we will create a scheduler for this Power BI data set here so that in every half an hour we can refresh that and our report is up to date. So right now as you can see here in the date of attendance 23rd of June I have date of attendance count is 1. So I'll go in my Excel and I'll look for this 23rd of June, this one, date of attendance, and the training name is Power App. I'll copy this entire row just to showcase you. Let's suppose the new response it submitted, two or three response has been submitted here, and our Excel file will be saved automatically. If I go to my Power BI and try to refresh that one. There is no changes in the data right now. For that one, we have to create a schedule refresh. I'll go in my Power BI web and you can see my forms to BI data set. There is an option of schedule refresh. Just go in your schedule refresh here, turn it on. And there you have option refresh frequency, how you want to refresh daily or weekly. I'll select daily in my case. Time zone you can select according to your requirement. And add another timing that means what time you want this to be scheduled. For me it's uh, 5.43 in the morning. So I will schedule it 6 a.m. in the morning. 6 a.m. morning and you can likewise add multiple timing here. One thing to remember is that there is the only difference of you can uh, make this as a half an hour difference. So you can now do it frequently like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So there is half an hour gap. So every half an hour your data will be refreshed. So you can add timing here. And in case your this scheduler fail, you can provide your email ID to send you the error detail as well. I'll click on apply. Now you can see in my forms to Power BI data set, the next refresh schedule at 6 a.m. 5.40 a.m. I have refreshed this and 6 a.m. is the next refresh schedule today. Uh, I'll just see after 20 minutes whether I get this refreshed or not. So I'm back after 15 minutes to check whether my data set has been refreshed or not. As you can see here that uh, it's ran at 6.13 a.m. I have scheduled it uh, 6 a.m. So it's uh, 13 minutes late actually, but not an issue. Our data sets got refreshed. I will now go to my Power BI report. And as you can see here in my Power Apps 23rd June's and account number of attendance is now five. Earlier it was one. And as you can see here as well, we have copied four extra rows for that particular date. So it's uh, showing us exact the same result in your report. So that's the way you can uh, connect your MS form, all the responses which are saved in your Excel online and connect that to a Power BI directly. I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. Thank you so much for watching.